Before barcodes, the wild ways we tracked goods before barcodes ruled every checkout counter. Tracking goods was pure chaos. In the 1800s, shopkeepers relied on handwritten ledgers, stamps, and price tags that often got smudged or lost. Factories marked products with ink or chalk, but these faded quickly. Then came punch cards. Yes, the same ones used in early computers. Some grocery stores experimented with these, but they were clunky and hard to scan. By the 1930s, inventors tried code systems with colored rings and bullseye patterns, but they failed in busy markets. Finally, in the 1940s, two students drew inspiration from Morse code and movie soundtracks printed on film. Their idea evolved into the modern barcode, first scanned on a pack of Wrigley's gum in 1974, and from that moment, shopping changed forever. So next time you hear that beep at checkout, remember, it took nearly a century of failed experiments to get here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Flashback Facts for more surprising history.